Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Almighty Allah, the entirely merciful and especially merciful. Dear viewers across the globe, I greet you with the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewers, welcome to this episode. Welcome to the way to paradise. Welcome to the road to paradise. Dear viewers, one of the benefits of Ramadan, of fasting, is the same benefit that we get from all the other ibadat, salat, zakat, and psalm. All of them would give us this ability to live in peace. And you know, everybody is looking for peace of mind. We are doing, we are the same people. And we know out of experience all these years that we lived and all the years that our parents and our teachers and our neighbors told us and shared with us their experience that through the month of Ramadan, more than other months, they gain this peace of mind. The more you are doing consistently and regularly the worships, the forms of worships that Allah prescribed upon us, the more we gain this kind of tranquility. And the more you save your money, you don't need to go to doctors. And that's why, by the way, they say, in general, the Muslims are the least one who go to doctors that talk about uh, psychology and psychiatry. And all these forms of uh, mental diseases that people around us everywhere suffer from, you find that in this kind of religion, that you are away, alhamdulillah, from these forms of diseases. Simply because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the prescription. The prescription of this disease to fight these diseases is, is not pills. The prescription is doing these practical ibadat. You worship Allah alone. You don't focus on two gods there because there are no two gods or three gods or four gods. You focus only on one God and his name is Allah. And the more you know him, the more you know the truth around you. The more you evaluate everything that you, lives around you. So this is one thing is that. There is no God worthy of worship except one whose name is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you find that the month of Ramadan gives us a lot of focus on this. During all the recitation of the Qur'an by itself or the recitation of the Qur'an in our daily prayers, in our five daily prayers, helps us, help us to focus on this, to review all what Allah commanded us from the beginning to the end of the Qur'an. Whatever Allah asks us in every area, the do's and the don'ts, do this and don't do this. Do this and don't do this. The whole the entire Quran. That's why you find that some Muslims, alhamdulillah, are more active than others. And because of their love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they find that they are ready to review the Quran more than 10 times in the month of Ramadan. You know that you can review the entire Quran in three days. You can read the book in three days. So, and the month is 30 days. You divide it on three, that means 10 times. You can review all what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told you. And it gives you all these stories of the previous messengers of Allah. And it gives you this link to all these 
messengers and how they are linked together and how all of them got the same message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that there is no one to be worshipped except Allah. And you learn all the names of that had been mentioned in of the messengers of Allah. You learn lots of beautiful things in the month of Ramadan. And that's why most, if not all, the Muslims become better human beings than before Ramadan. And this is the impact of the tranquility that they gained and the peace of mind that they gained during the month of Ramadan. And you observed, and even the non-Muslims observed this. If you are not a Muslim and you can observe the Muslims, you find that at the end of this month, you find the Muslims are becoming much, much, much more better than the beginning of the month. You find they become more merciful, more positive, and more helpful, and more every positive thing that you can think of, more generous. They are helping others. They are doing this and this and this because they really use the month of Ramadan very well. And the more you study about the month of Ramadan and the more practice you do, you get a lot of it. Look at this. Look at the night of power, the night of Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min al And we know that. The night of power, this night of power, that in one night, you gain the amount of gains that you can get in this one night equals the Alf Shahr. Alf Shahr means almost 84 years in one night. In one night. When you observe it, when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, precisely on this particular night, which comes in the last 10 days of Ramadan. You gain much more than you gain in 84 years. That's why people have this kind of happiness in Ramadan that you don't see in any other months because they know they are doing their best to catch it. Hopefully, inshallah, all of them will catch it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who catch Laylatul Qadr. And one of the benefits of Laylatul Qadr, just one of the benefits, in addition to what I mentioned, is that Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. And the word salam came in a peace, peace, peace. So if you are observing this night until the beginning, the rise of the sun in the following day, until the rise of the dawn and the following day, it is still there. If you can catch any part of the night, let alone if you can catch all of it uh, and you benefit from it, your gains will increase more than you gain in 84 years. Who is the one who hears this? and tries to miss it. That's why you see that most of the people try to make exclusion in the last 10 days of Ramadan to get the maximum, the maximum, the highest level of benefits and rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of us are eager to do that. This is the way how you should prepare yourself psychologically you are psychologically prepared to receive this night, to please Allah as much as you can in this night. The recitation of the Quran is one of the things. Paying charities is one of the things that you do it. The Salat on this particular day, Salat al-Taraweeh and Salat al-Qiyam and all these forms of ibadah. This is a very important concept in Islam. Is that the more worship according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legislated to us, the more we follow, we observe these 
worships, the more you are closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more Allah loves you more and more and more. It's not somebody else who is doing this. It's not your father is paying for you. No, you have to do it yourself. Through your own effort, through your own obedience, because the more you worship Allah, the more obedience you gain. And this is a sign in itself, a clear sign that you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah loves those who obey him, loves those who say, Sami'na wa ata'na, we listen and we obey. Therefore, we have to prepare ourselves. The focus here is on to gain salam. Just this is one night. One night you gain peace in it. And the other night you gain peace in it. The third night you gain peace in it. So during the month of Ramadan and during the practice of Islam, day and night, you have the opportunity to get to gain more peace of mind and more tranquility. And unfortunately, yet some people try to twist, twist the religion, the religion of Islam, the essence of the religion of Islam. It is the religion of peace, and every practice of it is a witness of it. Even the practical behavior of the Muslim is a witness of it. Yet, some powers and some enemies of this religion try to twist the meaning to do their best to keep Muslims away from the path of this great religion. Yet Allah is more merciful. Allah gives them opportunities after opportunities after opportunities to reconsider their situation, to reconsider what they are supposed to do. Get into the fold of Islam. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu udkhulu fi silmi kaffa wa la tattabi'u khutuat al-shaytan. O you those who believe, enter and accept and welcome and embrace the religion of Islam as a whole. And in this way, you gain this peace of mind. And you gain this comfort. And you gain this kind of tranquility. It is a very expensive commodity. You cannot find this commodity anywhere. You find it only when you follow the book of Allah, the instructions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. This book is the one that guarantees that it will give you the peace of mind that you are looking for. You will never ever find it elsewhere, guaranteed, or your money back. And those who tested it, those who did not know, and those who approached in, approached this Quran and started enjoying the peace of mind when they start reading the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they found the truth in it. They found the guidance in it. And one of the most common phrases we find among those who found the truth said that, I found this book is talking to me. It addresses, it addresses all the questions that I have had throughout my life. I never found another book that gave me this kind of peace, this kind of tranquility. And the simple explanation for that, because this is the only book that carries the exact words of Almighty Allah. It is the verbatim of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing has changed in it, and nothing will change until the day of judgment. That's why. That's why the impact is there, and that's why the peace is there, and that's why the comfort is there. Peace of mind is a commodity that you will not find anywhere 
or on any bookshelf in the world. You will find it only when you come across this Quran. And alhamdulillah, luckily, it is available in its original language in Arabic, which is something that everybody is encouraged to do this. You can even spend one or two years in your life uh, to study this language so that you'd give clear understanding of what Allah says. And instead of depending on the translation and explanation of others, uh, yes, all the time, you can ask the experts if you do, if you have some questions. But this way, you can get more comfort in it. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the given beautiful gifts to the Muslims in the month of Ramadan is the, man, is the night of power, Laylatul Qadr. As I said, that it equals if you catch it. And everybody is trying to catch it. And alhamdulillah, you can observe the Muslims, observe focusing on this month, and more especially focusing on the last 10 days of Ramadan so that they would catch this night. This is one of the tiny things that you get in the month of Ramadan. Who has this opportunity and is ready to miss it? Unless your enemy is trying to keep you away from this focus and from this gain because of the jealousy that they have. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, Hasadan min indi anfusim. They are jealous of the others, so they want to keep you away from taking this great gift. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue his support to us, to be better human beings, to be better Muslims, to be better worshippers, particularly in the month of Ramadan, and more particularly in the last 10 days, and more specifically in the night of power, Laylat al-Qadr. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.